Hi Capricorn, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your January 2023 tarot reading. This is a reading for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy birthday to any of you who will be celebrating if this is your sun sign. As we usher in Capricorn season, I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I myself have a Capricorn Rising. And Happy New Year, too, as we bring in 2023. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, you can come back in a couple of days, watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are different every week. So last week, I posted a year of predictions reading for 2023. If you have not seen that one, you might like it. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. Now, I have this urge to say something. I don't normally do this, but um, I've had my chart done by an astrologer. And as soon as I said my rising sign, I heard somebody say, how do, how do I find mine out? There are lots of online um, charts. I Cafe Astrology is one that used to be available for free and it matched the chart I had done professionally identically. So anyway, let's get into this. What advice do you have for Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Capricorn need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Capricorn? Messages for Capricorn, please. So if you're new, I don't usually talk that long, but I just have this urgency to, to comment about that. Okay, current situation, we've got the sun. The immediate influence is the chariot. That's powerful. You have the six of cups in your subconscious. You have temperance in the distant past, the emperor in the more recent past, justice coming towards you. You're represented by the king of pentacles. You have the three of swords as the person or situation you're attracting. Five of Swords in your hopes and fears. Eight of Wands in the outcome. Very powerful reading here. Bottom of the deck, we've got two pages. Oh, God, and these two together. <laughs> these are probably my two favorite pages. And when they get together, I'm telling you, if you have some relative, some cousin, some uncle, some whatever, and you two get together and you're those two pages, be careful because, my God, do they... I mean, they have a great time together, but I get somebody's energy together. I mean, it is hilarious. Like you're laughing until you're crying. Um, now, let's get into talking about all these major arcana because you had uh, five major arcana come out right away, which is significant. Major arcana are major life events. We've got Sagittarius, Cancer, Libra, Leo. We've got uh, Aries here. We've got water, air. Oh, we've got all the elements. So you brace for change, but you're going to get information that's going to really move things forward. So with the Three of Wands, there's growth here. The Three of Wands is your ships are coming in, so the wait is going to be over. You have two threes, so I do feel like two. The person or situation you're attracting is the Three of Swords, which is interesting because you're in this place of expansion. So maybe somebody who had a difficult ending or just went through a p difficult period in their own life and also I get too, if it's an um, information, because you're you're the king of pentacles, so you've got money coming in. If it's some kind of a company where I feel like they almost need a corporate raider, like you could almost be the tower. If you get hired at a job, I do feel like it's going to be some focus on your part. Like if they have a lot of issues, if you're some kind of an auditor, or like I said, if you get hired at a job where they had something go awry or they had too many people leave at once, something like that, I do feel like you're going to be compensated well. And even too, if you're some kind of a, I know this sounds odd because they don't typically make that much, but even like a substitute teacher, um, with that King of Pentacles, I feel like you're going to get some kind of sign-on bonus and a lot more money than normal. But let's get back to these guys. So the Page of Wands is a real uplifter's energy. It's going to give you that push in the back that says, hey, move forward, Capricorn. There's no sitting still with these two pages together. They're a very robust energy. Pages are messengers. And so when the tarot was made, pages are, were considered a prominent position. They were not, that was not a negative thing at all. That comes from YouTube, I feel like. They get 
a bad rap on here, but the page of cups is very spontaneous energy. So with the page of wands and page of cups together, you, again, you're going to have great social aspects. And especially those of you, this is your sun sign. I do feel like you're going to attract a lot of camaraderie. And you may, if you're single, again, you're going to attract somebody new. They might be a little shy at first. I do get that where they're checking you out if they meet you out and about. But and even if it takes them a little bit to contact you, like a couple of weeks, I know it seems like a turnoff, but I do get there may be a good reason for that. The Three of Swords may have something to do with their life and it had nothing to do with you. They needed to if, figure something out there. Well, who doesn't love to see these two together? The sun and the chariot, this is powerful manifesting energy, especially when you throw in something like the emperor, okay? He is the architect of the universe. But especially with the chariot and the emperor together, there's nothing stopping this. This is going to move forward. This is very high vibrational energy. It's a law of attraction energy. So if you wonder too, how do I know what I'm attracting? Well, look around you. Look at your finances. Look at your love situation or other relationships. It's all your point of attraction. So with the energy of the sun, this is gains, it's riches, it's true joy coming in. So I do feel like you're going to meet somebody important here. Um, now the chariot's important too with work though. It brings heaven to earth, yes, and it brings in balance and stability. However, with the chariot, it's a very mature energy and it is saying take that leap of faith. So especially too, if you're thinking about going somewhere and you get why the th the the place that you're in, if it's a job, why that's three of swords. If you really get that and say, I know exactly why they're three of swords. Yes, they had a mass exodus or they, you know, they had a person in charge for a while who wasn't great to the employees. So people started leaving, then they got their act together, then that's for you. All right. So with this chariot energy, though, again, it's absolutely making things happen in this physical world. And with the energy of the sun, there's openness. There's uh, The sun is pure positivity. It is, if you're asking a question, the answer is hell yes. And so with uh, the energy here too, in terms of a relationship, it's somebody who's going to be very protective about the relationship, but very, very loving. And especially if they have had some heartache, if they've had a significant loss in their life, I do feel like it gave them a new perspective. So they see things differently. They see things more in line with how their soul, how their source would see this world. But ultimately with the sun, it's new energy available and it's a it's like a rebirth, a renewal. And it's it's a new lease on life. Whenever you see the sun, it's wonderful energy. So your subconscious is gonna pull in some pretty nice things too with the six of cups. One of the fairy tale cards of the deck, it's a return to trust, a return to love. And I will say, whatever situation or person you're attracting, they are going to trust you impeccably. They've been burned before. They've been through a challenging period. And I do feel like it makes them that much more grateful for you. And so with this, there's a bit of an innocence here, but it's helpful. It's like you're going to attract people that you know you can depend on, you know are trustworthy. They don't have any hidden agenda or motive. They're just here for all the right reasons. So with this too, it does bring in a bit of a sense of nostalgia. So some of you too, if it is your sun sign, you may find that you go back to places that you haven't been to in a long time and it really brings in that feeling of the past, but in a good way, okay? It's not like hearing a song on the radio that was from a dark time in your life and you go, oh God, turn it. This is nice. This is warm. And so in the distant past here, you've got temperance here. Now, temperance can be about moderation, and I do get it with the emperor. If you made a change because there was excess in some way, because this can be the card of the alcoholic too. So if you got sober, you decided, hey, I'm just going to treat my body better. I'm going to do some things here. I'm going to pick people who I pay attention to what they're pouring into me. What kind of energy are they bringing in? Um, because temperance brings in major healing. And so, again, if you made a decision in the past and you, with the emperor, you'll stick to it. But it, it's definitely related to that. I feel like it's almost in some ways your own self-care. It's the Archangel Michael, though. So it is an energy of protection. So like I said, if you made some kind of a choice that was for your best and highest good, but it wasn't easy. I feel like it's the path less traveled, the road less traveled. However, it's always for your best. So with this energy of temperance, 
it's a bit easy going, right? It's wear the world like a loose fitting garment, but it is about moderation and support. And so with the energy of the emperor here, he it brings in discipline. And so anything that you decided to do where you said, yeah, I actually lost, you know, 50 pounds in 2022, you won't be gaining it back. All right, with the emperor, you kind of stick to things. Now, this is an energy too, though, of success, of achievement. And with the chariot, it's bold. And so you might find you have more courage. You're an ambitious sign by nature. You're a go-getter anyway. Um, and with this Aries energy, you may find that you're at the front of the line for everything. So with this, with the emperor here, he's also the father of the tarot. So like I said, with the chariot, you are going to meet somebody important here. Very mature energy and somebody who's very upfront. I think you're going to enjoy that. They say what they mean. They mean what they say. There's no hidden motive or agenda. There's nothing that seems quizzical, like you're not trying to figure them out. And I think you'll enjoy that too, because that upfront nature is going to be very attractive. So, well, with justice, this is a woman, but it doesn't really matter because the characters are all really gender neutral. She puts her foot down though. So like I said, I do feel like it with the emperor too. There's something here, especially if you get if you get some kind of a job where you have to weed through some things. This is the absolute truth that's putting your foot down. And so with this too, I just feel like in some ways you're the protector. It just feels like you have some kind of a role in saying enough is enough. And so if it's a relationship though too, this is very much cause and effect energy. You get what you are. It's not even about what we ask for. It really comes from the energy that we give out into the universe. So if, like we talked about earlier, look around you and see that's what you've been putting off. And so with this, it is going to bring in some balance into your life, but it is about the absolute truth. So very truthful communication as you go forward. Well, 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 you're represented as the king of pentacles. You and your own energy you are going to be looking great, feeling good, feeling successful, confident. And with this, so it brings in a bit of a quiet humility. So if you did make a big change, you may not be advertising it. However, I feel like people will notice and ask you. And that I feel like will be a much better way than you necessarily, you know, wanting, you're not going to want to put yourself all over social media and say, look at me, I'm sober. Or, look at me, I'm ripped or whatever. I just feel like with this, you do, you keep building up your own success. And that quiet humility is quite attractive, by the way, whether it's a love interest who finds that sexy or in terms of work too, they do see you as quite an asset. And so if you, if it's a current job too, and people have walked out or they didn't like their treatment in some way, I do feel like with this, you're going to get the, you're going to reap the rewards of that. Whoever made a departure it actually brings in more money for you. Not that we try to wish ill on anybody. It's not like that. But with this Three of Swords, the person or situa situation that you have attracted here has experienced some difficulties. Now, I will say, too, this is also about resisting change. So if it was a job situation, too, and some things changed and how they had to do things and they did not want to make that shift, it may have resulted in this for them. It's like, you know, grow or go. So with this, I do feel like they've got to, they've gotten the lesson that they've needed to out of that. So this five of swords, again, it feels more work related in terms of trying to arrange people or do something with the three of swords environment, trying to bring in uh, correction. That's what I get. Like you're going to be in charge of doing some kind of corrective action at a job. Um, but with this, and it may be two training people who just don't know what they're doing. I, and that might be some of the departure, but I still get there was some kind of a departure around you at work. Um, in terms of relationships, though, you're just not looking to bring in any conflict. So if that three of swords is the, is the person you're attracting, if they have some kind of old baggage that wants to make an appearance, I don't see you participating in that at all. So the Eight of Wands is great. This is all about vibration, momentum, and it's high vibrational energy. The Eight of Wands is communication that says, let's do this, let's move forward. And it happens quickly, it's rapid energy. So this one is braced for change, but it's also the arrows of love in the tarot. So I do feel like if you have somebody who had a challenging experience, they are ready for you and they're gonna wanna move fast. So. Be aware of that. And if you don't want to, I don't feel like you're going to get pushed around, right? I mean, it's just 
I feel like they're going to have sort of a, a forward approach. All right, what else does Capricorn need to know, please? Advice for Capricorn, please. Messages for Capricorn. Compromise, all right? So for some, you know, with this, I you have very powerful energy. So you, we want to be careful not to bulldoze others with that chariot emperor combo. The situation will improve. Well, I should say so. Plus, like I said, you're king of pentacles. Meditation brings answers. We didn't really talk about that much, but you do have the seat of the soul here. So connect with that source energy. Perfect timing, they say, and we've got there's something better. When you get that, just ask this or something better because there may be something even better available for you. Good things are on the way for you, Capricorn. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.